just go make a play. I saw it in the air, and it, it was just floating. And the receiver was in front of me, so I knew I had to had to jump over him to get it. So I just tried to make a play. And then after you after you picked it off, what were you thinking? Uh, I got the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know it looked like that until someone showed me after the game. That that was the first time I saw it. So be honest, how many times have you watched it over? Probably about ten. Cause my mom keeps posting and sending it to me, like in different stuff. I'm like, okay, I've seen it already. But. <laughs> Taylor, being one of the guys who's been around here for a while, you, you've seen the, the the lowest of the low points. What's it mean for you to see Southern Miss and and experience and success that, that Southern Miss has, has had so far this year? feels good. It's, it's a different feeling, like playing for a conference championship finally, not halfway through the season knowing we can't go to a bowl game just trying to finish out the season. Yeah. It's just a whole different atmosphere around here, and it's, it just feels great. What are some of the leadership qualities you can pass on to the, to the younger guys? Can you repeat it? What are some of the leadership qualities you can pass on to the younger guys? Uh, just watching film and just always working hard, never taking any days off, and you can never be perfect, so there's always something to work on. Uh, same thing, and uh, getting in and out of my breaks and just, just everything. I mean, you can get better all around every week, so just finding little things to work on. Everybody would talk about the interception of the play where Charlotte's running back went this way and then reverse field and you almost pick up a safety on that play. I mean, do you like that one more? Or? Yeah, I don't, th I don't know if I like it more. I like getting an interception more than a tackle, but uh, that's just something we always work on in practice. We actually have a drill that's set up just like that. We He throws his screen and then the receiver will run this way, and then he'll cut backfield, and the whole team has to pursue and get him. And it was just, I mean, that's exactly what it felt like in the game. So I just took what I'd learned in practice and just did in the game. Do you see any receiver coming up against you that uh, stands out the most and is very dangerous? Uh, they're all pretty good. I know last week, uh, I think it's number 81, he had a pretty big game. Uh, so we just have to be ready to, to guard any of them. All season long, Coach Munkin is said the word significantly better about this year's team and after winning another game you know by more than three touchdowns and holding the 10 points again under 300 yards I mean are you guys really starting to feel and play like you're significantly better uh yes sir I mean we've we felt like we're way better and we're a different team than the years past and we're just trying to show everyone else and being at five wins knowing what's on the line for six uh, can you kind of talk about that for this week uh we can definitely, I mean, everyone's excited. It's just that, that buzz around the building six that we, we haven't been there in a while. So we're, we're ready to get back out there and play. Have, have the goals changed at all from the start of the season? It was go out and show that we can win. Now that y'all have been winning, you notice anything else change? Uh, we've had the same goals all, all year. Our goal from the beginning was a conference championship, and it, it's still there. So we're still taking it game by game, trying to reach that goal. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy to me because I've never been this healthy since I've been here, since maybe freshman year, but I was still banged up that year. But it's just, it feels good to just get out there and play and not have to worry about anything. Taylor, how important is it for the team to have a, a big crowd here Saturday? No legal fans. Oh, it's, it's, it's real big. I mean, we get super pumped when we see the fans out there and just the atmosphere is crazy. I know it's hard for the opposing team to come in and play when the rocks just pack. Talk about Coach Munkin kind of mentioned we hope UTEP won. Yeah. Yes, I mean, definitely. Because, uh, I mean, last year, last year, that game was pretty rough when we went down there. I know we turned the ball over a lot. Uh, felt like we should have won it last year, but we just we just had a lot of mistakes that that didn't allow us to do so. You guys have been singing the fight song a lot more <laughs> games this year. What is that like? Uh, it's much better than just ending the game, just going home. Uh, I think I I barely sang the fight song here. Now we have to 
we have to do it at team meetings to make sure everyone knows it because <laughs> coach was getting upset when people were just back there just like humming humming random words so it's definitely a good feeling oh, you guys know it now. yes sir I've, I've always known it <laughs> Uh, we just want to go out the next week and do the same thing and know we have to approach practice even harder to get another win. A lot of people talk about the confidence level of the team being better and more and this and that. Have you guys noticed as players, the coaches even maybe more confident? Yeah, they're more excited, more like it's just I just compared to last year and how different it is the coach is more excited. Uh, you can just I don't, I don't know how to explain it. You can just, when you're around it, you just, you just feel the difference. Anything else? Caleb, thank you. No problem.